This lesson will show how list can help us to create blocks that are more general. So to show how a block can be um, fixed, let's create a sum block that takes in three numbers. And we'll create the sum of those three numbers. So I have uh, val1, val2, and val3 in this case that will represent the numbers passed in as parameters. And what this sum block will do is just simply return the sum of all three of these. So it's very fixed in the sense that this block only works when I want to add three numbers, which can be fairly limiting. So I just have a nested addition um, equation here that's just adding all three of these and reporting back the result. So that if I want to use this block, I can add three numbers. For example, if I want to add the numbers 1, 2, and 3, and say those, uh, say that sum to the screen. I can call this block with 1, 2, and 3, and that will simply just display the answer 6 to the screen. But again, if I wanted to sum a larger set of numbers, for example, I want to sum 5 numbers, or 6 numbers, or even 100 numbers, I can't use this approach, or else I would have to create you know, hundreds of different instances of sum. So what a list will allow us to do, I can still have a reporter here where instead of taking the individual values as parameters, I take a list. And that list can then hold an arbitrary number of values. And what our sum block will do is loop over that list of values and create a running sum and report that back as the sum of all those numbers in the list. So I'm creating here, I created my sum block that had two, uh, received the uh, list parameter and it had um, all the numbers that will be passed in and then I'm creating two variables here uh, and then now I need to use those two variables, temp sum and index. So temp sum will represent the running sum of the value of all the uh, numbers in the list. So initially it's zero and each time I visit an element in the list I want to add that number to the previous sum. An index just represents which particular value in the list we're considering. So we're going from 1 to the length of the list. So I'm re repeating or looping over all the elements of the list and I don't know how large this list will be. It could be of arbitrary size. So I can't put a fixed number there so I need to use as shown in the past the length of list block and I'm just you know, going to loop the number of times that uh, represents the size of the list. So the temp sum was initially zero, but each time I go through the list, I want to take the past value of temp sum and add to it the newest value of the list that I've discovered. So I'm going through the first element of the list, adding it, the second element, adding one and two, the third element, adding one, two, and three, and so on. So what temp sum does is it takes the old value of temp sum and adds to it the current item in the list that we're considering through this variable called index. So this may take a little bit of under, uh, time to understand, but think about this for each value of index. When temp sum was 0 um, and index is 1, I'm just adding the first value. And each time index increases through the list, let me change the size of this here for you. Each time I increase through the list, I'm adding that element to this temporary running sum and then I need to increase index by one each time to go to the next list. And uh, so this will loop the number of times uh, that, that uh, represents the number of elements in the list and then I simply report back the value of temp sum. So after the loop is over, temp sum will contain the running sum of all the values in the list. So I'm uh, initializing temp sum, I'm initializing index, I'm writing the uh, new value of temp sum to be equal to the old plus one plus the uh, index and then incrementing index by one. So I continue to loop through this uh, through all the list elements and I return back temp sum. So in order to show how this program can be used, I'm going to do a similar thing as the fixed value, except instead of passing in three values, I'm going to pass in a list. So I'm just going to write to the screen here through a say 
this new sum that takes in a list. So you can see that this sum now has a slot there requiring a list. I'm going to just drag the list structure over into that slot and uh, I'll create six um, holes here to represent six numbers and I will copy the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 into each of these slots and so when I execute this program in SNAP it will create the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and return that result which is 21. If I remove that sixth uh, slot there I'm just summing 1 through 5 and that's 15. So this little program shows us how we can make our blocks more generalizable by passing in lists that contain an arbitrary number of parameters.